<laughs> this is your baby. She's going to lamb later. This is her baby because you can see she's got a bit of her afterbirth sticking out from behind her. But this, you're trying to steal the baby, aren't you? Okay, I'm going to try and put the yo yeah, with the new baby in this pen so she has her own space. Relax, sweetie. I know, I know it's your new baby and your auntie's trying to take over. You've got your baby all to yourself. And you can't get at the baby. Okay, everybody else is fine. Uh, and the dogs. And the rain blew in here all yesterday. So the bedding is soaking. So there's going to be a big putting of bedding in. Luckily, the rain didn't get in there. So it's lovely and dry for the new baby. Honestly, it was the most wet, miserable day yesterday. We had a lakes, literally lakes on the yard, in the yards, and the water was running like it was a river down this whole, the field and the yard. It was that wet. This is now dry, but it was flowing. It was literally flowing like a river. So there's no point in even putting straw bedding down here because it just, the wind blew in and it was soaking. I mean, it was just so miserable. And thankfully, nothing was born yesterday, but this was born this morning. What is it? It's around six, I think. Clever girl. I'm going to leave you cleaner up on your own without the rude aunties or dogs. We're going to go look at the lambs up in the paddock. You're going to get turned out today. And, you, and your babies are going to get turned out today. And you and your babies are going to get turned out today. We're going to turn out all your little babies and you. So there'll be three turnouts later today, once it gets a little bit warmer. There's a very cold, chilly breeze on a wet wind. So beautiful.
Too many lambs. <laughs> I see your lamb. It's over here. Well, everybody's here. Two singles and everything else is twins. And I always mix her up with twins. You have the twins, don't you? Yeah. No, you have the single. Your ear feather. Everybody sorted out now? You have all your babies? Two singles and the rest are twins. Okay, I'll see you later with food. No food yet. How are you cheeky monkey? Cheeky monkey. Below the river is beginning to burst its banks. You can always see where the old canal, where they started digging the old canal. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Dust in my throat. 
Anyway, the aquifer is filling, is full and overflowing. These guys are all happy having a munch. I had a miserable day and night yesterday. So the water is really running fast. A lot of this is off of the neighbor's land, not the aquifer. So it's a combination of agricultural land wash and um, the aquifer, but it's filling up the river. Look at this, look in there, isn't that beautiful? There's snowdrops and, sorry, bluebells, not snowdrops. The bluebells are getting out competing out competed with the uh, cow parsley there you can see some bluebells and more bluebells and more bluebells my cow parsley and bluebell wood I love it yes kitty how are you yeah how are you kitty and you're beautiful Nice kitty ladder. Yeah, does that mean you're going to jump there? Yeah, you are going to jump there. You beautiful kitty. It's really cold. We have a north wind blowing. I'm actually being protected by the trees. Anyway, here's the aquifer. Flowing. Very much flowing. Deep. So hopefully the tadpoles all hatched. Look at this. It's literally coming out of a hole in the land. Look at that. That is how much water is flowing. It's coming from through the woods. It's washing over the aquifer entrance or the, look at that. Loads, the woods are flooded here. I should probably plant some dog tooth violet in there. That would be lovely. Are you jumping that? Yeah, how are you kitty? Oh, you can see historic holding the fences up, baling twine grown into that holly tree. Yeah, it's very wet in there. The cat's going like, where do I cross? Anyway, that's a bit of old fencing that seems to have fallen down. How are you? It's very wet, isn't it? Very wet. Ah. So lovely to see the sun, but we're only gonna have it for a few hours and then we're gonna get more rain again. Look at this. Literally, this part of the land, it's percolating up. Let's see, where is it coming up out of the ground? Oh, it's coming from that way. Oh, I can hear it falling from the neighbor's field. I hear a dog in there as well. Look, it's coming across here as well. It's so wet. Who's in there? Come here, come on. Oh, it's bare. What you doing? Clever boy. Come on, bear. Where are you? Clever boy. There was a fox when I uh, came down to feed the yews. There was a fox. This is my one of my nettle patches for a lot of pollinators, moths and butterflies. Their main food are nettles. You got soaking wet. They must have been chasing the fox that I saw earlier. You chasing the fox. Okay. 
Look, you can really see how the fields below are beginning to flood. The river won't need much more to burst its banks. And you can see the line of our water leaving the land. We really don't need a big windstorm now because it could blow over trees. Can you stay for a little bit longer? Dry the land out a bit, please. Thank you. They were frolicking a minute ago. They've all stopped because they picked up the scent. The fox was around that rotting hay pile, hunting voles and mice, probably. Oh, I've just got landed on by there a cat. I am landed on by a cat. Look, doesn't the willow and the horse chestnut look beautiful in its young leaf? Yes, you're beautiful too. You're beautiful too. You're beautiful too. Yeah. Gosh, it's so lovely to have the sun on your face. Oh yeah, great stuff. Some of the best medicine is sun. Whoop, you're gonna fall down. Luckily I have, whoop, are you gonna? <laughs> Luckily I have this thick coat on. <laughs> Otherwise I would have felt all those claws. <laughs> I've got a cat butt in my head. There we go, that's better. Oh! Okay, you guys are a witness. I'm abused by my animals. <laughs> my face gets stomped on by a cat. Isn't that right? <laughs> oh. oh dear. If you keep losing, the other I am. I've just brought Gazelle out with her yo lamb and her ram lamb. Her yo lamb has the long stockings and her ram lamb is behind. Now, where's baby? He's missing its mother. Where are you? There you are. Your mama is lying in the sun. Oh, come here. She's got a huge pair. They're looking fantastic. Look at her. That's your mama. so she can have some food. Come on. There we go. She's hungry. There we go. She keeps abandoning that lamb. Not really abandoning, but leaving it behind. This is why first year sheep, when they're doing their first lamb, you usually want them to have a single because they can look after the one really well. But a second one they might always forget, which she leaves behind in other locations. Who's having a chat with me? I should have known it was Ear Feather. Hey, sweetie, how are you? How are you? You doing well? Hmm? Okay. And look at that fully blown cherry tree. Blooming, glorious. You come and greet me every time I'm bringing more lambs up, don't you? Holly, who was a uh, hog a few years ago. I just dropped her up and has a very handsome ram lamb. That ram lamb is being kept home. 
It's got excellent breeding and uh, we'll see how he develops if his conformation holds. His brother, however, is very mismarked, so won't be kept. So that gives you an idea. You see that streak of white up his leg and his tail white is too long. So this is a very good little boy. So hopefully he will develop into a very handsome big ram for improving the Zwart Plus breed. Yeah, sadly you're not gonna make it, but that's fine. It will lead a lovely life here for eight to nine months in beautiful fields and pasture. Look at that, she's finally got her two lambs. I have to keep finding her baby for her, but she's settled there quite happily in the sun. Very happy. Lounging in the sunshine with your two babies. <laughs> John was trying to play with oven mitt. And Maya rescues oven men. How are you, kitty? You good boy. Yeah. Oh, and you're a good girl too. Yes. 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 Meow. That was the ram lamb that was born this morning around 6 a.m. Give or take. And she is still relaxing, though the sun has moved now. There is an unpleasant wind, you can see. Look at that. Underneath the flowering. Oh, I'm just loving the cherry. But there's an unpleasant wind going over the walls and above us. So all the sheep are very, very cozy in here. She's just basking in the sun. Almost. You're going to have to move in a minute because the sun's going to have shifted. The pear tree. Yeah, that is blocking her sun. That is the big, magnificent pear tree blocking the sun. This is really, really shitty. I mean, seriously, poor Ebony. She got stuck and the Corvids got her. A neighbor phoned me up and they pecked her eyes out. So, as soon as I got home, I was away at the shop. I pulled this up because I'm going to have to have her put down. Poor girl. So cruel. Corvids are so cruel, but you could say they're feeding their babies. I was hoping it wasn't Ebony. <sighs> Bugger. Oh, poor girl. This is not going to be easy to load her up on my own. But they pecked her eyes out. Fucking bastard crows. Excuse my language, but poor Ebony. She was stuck on her back. She had breakfast. So it was after breakfast. And I went, ran into town to the shops. Poor girl. 
Look at her scraping at her eyes. She can't see out of anymore because then bloody birds took them. Anyway, she'll be put out of her misery. The Knackerman guy is on his way. I found him while I was still in the shops in Kilkenny. Bloody hell. Okay. Say your goodbyes, lady. Oh, she keeps shaking her head, trying to get rid of the pain in her ears, eyes. See you later.